Assalamu alaikum, hello and welcome. This is our second tutorial, and this one is for crowd effects and soft image, uh, particularly for uh, terrain uh, follow and rotation in crowd simulation soft image, crowd effects in uh, soft image uh, 2000, 2013 and uh, greater. Uh, this tutorial will be useful for only for people who, who are familiar with the uh, basics of crowd effects simulation and soft image. You may find tutorials on YouTube and Vimeo uh, about uh, this uh, issue. Uh, we are using uh, our custom rig from 3 Studio Max. As you see here, it's a full rig uh, exported as FVX file, like this, with a main controller controlling all rotation and uh, translation or move for the whole model or actor uh, the actor or the model itself is a uh, single mesh as you see all these bones and helpers that control any rotation or position for the, the model must have any weight and skin modifier all these if you selected any one of these bones or helpers it must have any weight any amount of weight then we export this uh, model and import it here in a soft image uh, with basics of crowd FX simulation with a string crowd. If we hit just sorry, if we just hit play, just hit play here. As you see, horses are moving and following terrain up and down. As you see, but without any rotation with the terrain itself. As you see, it's always, let's see in left view, it's always horizontal, as you see, okay. So if we need it to, if we need them to, uh, to follow the rotation of the tearing, uh, we use this custom ice tree, which uh, was a gift really from Fabricio Chaman, this nice guy. <coughs> You will find this uh, ice tree or compound uh, uh, available for download in a link below the video. As you see here, it's uh, very simple. It's, it's getting the grid itself here. Get closest location location on geometry. Get closest location in geometry here. It takes the normals of the polygon of the tearing, converted direction to rotation and takes it to crowd orientation constraint. Crowd orientation constraint, this one. And takes the main master controller, this one, for the actor, view like this one, this master controller that we saw here. And we plug it to proxy deformer name and this one to rotation. It converts the, uh, the normals of the terrain to rotation and rotate the whole actor according to it. So we plug it into uh, our ice tree. Let's see the result now. As you see, they are rotating nicely. Here, up and down. Uh, up and down as you see oops that's it uh, really this uh, this part of the ice tree this three parts you can plug it directly uh, directly to here into here with rotation but as you see they are flipping on the faces so we needed to add a value 270 angle then we plug this here and then plug all this here um, that's it it's a hint about what thing we are still developing uh, ice trees for our work here uh, we used to uh, use another ice tree that gets the current particle position particle position 
particle position and get next particle position and get the difference between them and then to, to make this rotation but uh, this one from uh, this guy Fabrizio Chaman uh, worked better with us so that's it uh, we still have uh, some problems for importing more than three moves uh, stand and walk and run and whatever we still have prob problems in this so if you have any ideas any uh, suggestions please share it to make a tutorial or uh, share it on your blog Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.